Hey everyone, Michael here. Welcome back to another video. This time we're in Minicata Park in Coquitlam, BC. Now here I am laying in the composition with the aid of my iPhone, which I'll aim to make a separate video in itself. The scene is a watershed with a beaver lodge up front there. You can see it in the left hand corner. And right now I'm sketching in the, the heavy plant growth on top of the water. This uh, lake slash pond always has a lot of heavy plant life on top. And lastly, adding the background trees in before the paint. First I lay in some thin sections of dark, it's a tree reflection in the water. And as I move into the trees I lay them in with uh, something really warm. It's a cloudy overcast day so we have cool light, warm shadows. Throw a little bit of warm into the reflection just to get it a little bit of variety. Here I'm throwing in the sky section of the water. And then moving right into the sky of a cloudy day. Keying it in, putting some dark stuff at the top to create a gradation. And then I'll start putting some lights in by the tree to push yourself down into the trees. And here I'm adding the uh, warm darks into the plant life that lives on the water. Again, this indicates the warm shadows of that plant life. You'll see me put it on top a little bit later. And just some foreground grasses and a little bit of land. And then we're going to just clean off some of the wet paint for some grasses later on. Uh, now I'm just keying in the large mass of trees in the background. You'll see me really push this value back later in the painting. Um, it's one of those things I, I put in, start working on the painting, and then at one point you realize, wait a second, those trees are just way too dark to be in the position they need to be. They need to be a little bit lighter to really push them back. And it's all for the sake of the painting. you got to remember that. A little bit of grass in the background just to lead your eye farther into the trees. Starting working on the um, beaver lodge there, toning it in, cooling the edges of that warm shadow along the painting. So I try to keep your focus into the path of the water. Laying in the darks again of the tree reflection within that water. The initial wash spread out too much and I need to uh, add a little more in to get it the dark rich, rich darks that I need. And getting the shape right. and trying to key in the light part of the water. You'll see me really push this value a little bit higher later on as well, but for now it, uh, it seemed to work. And so after that I sort of progressed uh, throwing a little bit of the color into that value as well. Maybe it'll make it a little more interesting. And a little bit of uh, warms within the uh, pond life. And there's a uh, sections of bushes in that pond that I added in. Here I decided to throw in some timbers of the trees but then I'll later on take them out. Throwing some greens into the trees as well starting to get the, the cool greens. A little more uh, warm violets making it trying to make it a little bit darker at the base where forests usually are uh, darker at the bases. Uh, trying to throw in some grasses and trying to work on that beaver lodge reflection. Getting the, the sticks to poke out. Beaver Lodge was uh, quite, a bit, quite a challenge and you'll see me work on it a little bit later in more detail. I was having trouble so I decided to move on to the grasses so I start keying into the, the plant life. And you can see big strokes of thick paint and you see how it just pulls off the brush and leaves shadows or holes within that paint. Those kind of are the shadows and the specks of the plant life. It's not something you need to paint, it's something you plan for and just laying it in again and you'll see me adjust the temperature of that plant life. Right now it's a cool green. There I threw in a little bit more violets and I'll throw in some oranges and blues and pinks as well in various areas. And that's what gives it this variety, right? It's just not a cool green. I'm doing some scratching work trying to pump up the value in the lodge, moving back into the trees, scratching in some branches and some trunks working again back into the water trying to pull it into the plant life. I go all over in the painting and so should you I think. Uh, once you're finding or having difficulties with an area, stop working on it and move to another area and let your brain subconsciously process what you need to do later on to that section. And throwing some of the water bushes or bushes that are in the water uh, into the composition. I like how it sort of contains the eye and pushes you further back from the main focus which is the um, beaver lodge and throwing in some grasses getting my rigor out 
wanted to have some fun, so I thought I'd uh, play with my rigger a little bit. It gives me a little more fine line, especially for this water and for foreground grasses. The trick with the rigger is to keep your mixture thin. And again, we push into the beaver lodge. And I discovered that the shadow side of the beaver lodge is cool. The reflection need to be a little bit lighter and warmer, and that's what gave it the sense of reflection. A little bit of grasses in that beaver lodge, kind of working variety in there. And you'll see that it's not working for me, so what I do is I throw in a, a higher key value for the lights of the beaver lodge. But right now I noticed that the water wasn't light enough, so I decided to key up the water a little bit as well. And also some of the uh, pond foliage there. And there I go, really keying it up. Having to push the sense of dimension in that beaver lodge. And here I go back and I think this is where I start, yeah, lightening the value of the trees in the background to try to push them back a little bit farther. Because the trees are there for context. Um, nothing more, nothing less. Throwing some worms within the, that, the trees to give a variety of warm and cools. It's the temperature shift, or you could say color shift, that, provides the variety. And adjusting the sky, putting in some uh, some more lights around the central part. Going back to the Beaver Lodge, cooling some areas um, and warming other areas, playing around with it with my rigger. Trying to get the uh, sticks and twigs in, laying in the darks of these first, of course. Um, and then you put your lights on top later, um, and the darks will act as the shadows. So, unless you plan for it, uh, putting those darks in later are really difficult. And just trying to get the disarray of twigs and sticks poking out of the beaver lodge there. And eventually, I'll go in with some alternative colors and temperatures. Just a little bit of pinks there. There's some greens there, and I think I'll start moving into some oranges as well. There we go. And this is what creates the variety and the interest within the Beaver Lodge itself. If you were, if you were to just stick to the mundane browns, of cool and warm browns, there wouldn't be really any interest. And then putting in the foreground grasses, this will give a sense of depth moving into the painting. So you have the four foreground, then the Beaver Lodge, and then it'll push you towards the, uh, the background itself, and then hopefully lead you back to the Beaver Lodge. And adding a little more rich vibrant grasses in the back uh, and a little pink area here to make it a little more interesting you'll see that later on the uh, close-up view and just adjusting the uh, background to make a little more variety and take out some detail as well adjusting the foreground giving it a little more life and I sign the painting and make a couple more adjustments again <laughs> Sometimes you've signed a painting, you think you're complete, and then you go back and you realize, ah, I just got to do a few more things here. Tweaking the sky holes, adding some lights onto the beaver lodge itself. Adding a little bit of some water reflections around the area. A little more highlights on that beaver lodge, it seems. And adjusting the tree line within that water reflection as well. And going back into the... Uh, the background trees and giving them a little more life I think with um, trunks and sticks and twigs. This is the perception of, of more of a forest than actually rendering the forest. Here's the detailed view of the beaver lodge there. You can see the variety of color that I have in it. Moving up through the grasses in the uh, water and then uh, the forest itself. Another detailed shot sweeping the other way. I want to say thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, Please like, share it with your friends, and of course, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe.